this is what we're saying. So far, there's been a vaccine. It's 90% effective. Let me give you a bit more detail about it. They tested about 43,500 people in six different countries, and they say there was no safety concerns. So let's begin this bulletin with some much-needed good news as the search for the COVID-19 vaccine reached a major milestone. Pharmaceutical giant Pfizer, in conjunction with the biotechnology company Biotech, have announced that their COVID-19 vaccine has proven to be effective in preventing 90% of the people in early trials from getting the virus. But, as Wega Mora tells us, there are still several hurdles to overcome before the vaccine can be commercially available. But even then, some countries have already booked millions of doses of the same for their nationals. There is a glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel. One year after the first COVID-19 case was confirmed in Wuhan, China, in November 2019. A tweet by American pharmaceutical giant Pfizer Incorporated at 3 p.m. Kenyan time raised hope around the world that finally a major breakthrough had been made in the search for a vaccine. It read, and I quote, We are proud to announce along with the BioNTech group that our vaccine candidate has, at an interim analysis, demonstrated initial evidence of efficacy against COVID-19 in participants without prior evidence of SARS-CoV-2 infection, end quote. The BNT162B2 vaccine, which has been worked on for 10 months by Pfizer and German biotechnology company BioNTech SE, now has been tested on 43,500 people in six countries, and no safety concerns have been raised so far. In terms of administration, two doses, three weeks apart, are needed. The trials are taking place across the United States, Europe, South America, and South Africa. They show that 90% protection is achieved within seven days after the second dose. Pfizer also states that they are looking to get emergency use authorization by the end of November. But for this, they need to show, and I quote, efficacy in the majority of participants, safety data, and consistent manufacturing. But leading Kenyan virologist Professor Omu Anzala says it's still too early to pop the champagne. These are very, very preliminary results. These are actually a, a, like a, what we call a, an interim, pre-interim report that they opened up the data and they looked at those who had been vaccinated vis-a-vis -vis those who had not been vaccinated and looked at the number of infections in each group. And it was clear that those who had received the vaccine there was massive uh, protection uh, from disease. In terms of a distribution target, Pfizer believes that it will be able to supply 50 million doses by the end of this year and around 1.3 billion doses by the end of 2021. But currently, they have agreements with the United States, European Union, Canada and Japan for this specific vaccine, which means other countries may have to wait a bit longer for the same supply. We really need to sit down as a country and uh, strategize of exactly how we are going to get this product into the country, what kind of data we need to review in terms of safety data, who should actually be a priority in terms of who should get this vaccine first. And as we sit here now, uh, none of these things have been done in this country. There are around a dozen other vaccines in the final stages of testing known as phase three trial, but this is the first to show any results. Kenya's best hope might come from the Chadox-1 vaccine, developed by researchers at the University of Oxford in the UK in partnership with AstraZeneca, with clinical trials currently being conducted here in Kilifi County. Wahiga Mwaura, Citizen TV.